everyone. We are at a fun educational event and uh, More together to again, about I can't that. get rid of her. Anyway, yeah. a real quick plug on growth charts. So someone asked how worried they should be if their toddler's like 95th percentile on BMI. We do have several videos on this, but remember uh, bodies come in all shapes and sizes and the growth chart is only helpful to look at trends. Right, and we're trained in these growth charts and this is what we go to school for a million years. So we, we always say it's not the number or one percentile or one number that really counts. It's a trend of where your child has been and where they're going. Um, so we have to be really careful when we're just commenting on one number alone. Right, that and makes so sense. basically as a parent, we don't really want you to stress out over it unless your pediatrician has brought concerns uh, about the growth chart. And again, most pediatricians are looking at the trend, like was your child tracking at the 95th percentile and suddenly they're at the 20th percentile, well what's going on? Uh, or vice versa. Um, so are they not following their own growth curve? And that's when we get concerned that there might be a medical condition contributing to that. Right, and you could have one child that is on the 90th percentile and that's where they've been their whole life and one that's on the 5th percentile and their diet and their surroundings and everything is the same and this is why each body is so different, right? So you cannot compare two children. You have to look at them individually. 100%. Raise your hand if you have more than one kid and if they came from the same parents and they live in the same household and they have completely different body types. Literally every family, probably. But so, yeah. So don't stress about it. Yeah. Bring up your concerns to your pediatrician. Let them talk you through it and don't panic.